One of the biggest questions that I'm asked is, Latif, how do I go about booking a freestyle artist? And in this video, I'm gonna show you five steps to help you book your first freestyle artist. So let's go. Hey, what's up, freestylers? Latif here, exploring with you the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. And every week on this channel, we discuss ways that we, as a freestyle music community, can recognize, define, and nurture the culture that we know lies within the genre. Now, if you're new to this channel and feel like this is something that you can get down with, do me a favor and smash that like button. And if you click the subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. I've been booking freestyle artists for well over 25 years. So when I say I know what I'm talking about, I really do. Booking freestyle artists is really no different than booking any other type of artist, except there might be a little bit more detail in the contract. They might use the terms and agreements a little bit more. And when it comes to the writers, there might be a few extra things thrown in. But nonetheless, if you can book a freestyle artist, trust me, you can pretty much book anyone. When I get a phone call inquiring about an artist, within the first few seconds, I can pretty much tell who I'm dealing with. Is this a seasoned promoter accustomed to doing large venues and big lineups? Maybe a smaller promoter with a few nightclubs under his belt? Or maybe a complete newbie with the need of an entire walkthrough? To me, it doesn't matter. I'm excited to work with all of them, but by knowing this information, it helps me help them put together a more successful event. Seasoned promoters already know the process. They're contacting me for information in regards to fee, travel, and availability. Now, these deals are easy and quick to close. Smaller promoters have a little bit of experience, but they still might need a little guidance. Now, the complete newbies are my personal favorite. The reason being is I get to introduce a brand new entity into the world of bookings. Now, this process, if done right, will have them coming back and that benefits the entire genre. I think the most difficult part is getting them to ask questions. Many times I try to initiate information that I think they should know. To anyone interested in booking, whether you're booking through me or another agent, please do not hesitate to ask questions. See, new promoters, if handled right, will have a successful event. And a successful event means repeat business, not just for me, but for all the artists. So now let's get into the actual process of booking these acts. I'm going to give you five simple steps. And this is the deal. Once you do it once, the repeat process is simple. Now, if at any time during this video you have a question, please go down to the comments below and ask. Step number one, contact a legitimate booking agent. Now, when I talk about legitimate, I talk about people who are acknowledged by the artist as agents. And this is the reason why. If you go through Poncho on Facebook, to book a freestyle artist, and that freestyle artist does not recognize Pancho as an agent, Pancho will have to add money on top of that fee in order for him to get paid. Legitimate booking agents do not have to do that. Our fees are paid to us by the artist out of the deposits. Make sure you deal with an agent that deals with the freestyle genre. If you book outside of this genre, those agents have to contact us, and in order for them to get paid, they have to add their money on top, which will cost you more. Step number two, consult with your booking agent. Yeah, I'm an agent, but there are also others, so this applies to everyone. Look, as a promoter, you don't have to pay the agent. That's paid by the artist. So take advantage of their experience and their knowledge. Sometimes new promoters come to me with this off-the-wall lineup, and me having done this for so many years, I know that that is the wrong lineup for that market. Now, you might get some agents that will just go with it because money is money. However, if the event is unsuccessful, will never see that promoter again. So take advantage of your booking agent and pick their brains. They come to the plate with a ton of value. Take advantage. And remember, as a promoter, their service is free. Step number three. Once the dates have been agreed by both sides, the agent will draw up a contract. These contracts should be detailed enough so as to leave nothing out but simple enough that an attorney really isn't necessary. Because waiting on an attorney to decipher your contract can jeopardize the artist's availability. Now the agent will normally send the contract first to the promoter who will go over it, sign it, 
and then send it back to the agent who would then forward it over to the artist or their manager who will then sign it and send it back to the agent. Once the agent has the contract with both signatures, then it's time to make the deposit. Now back in the days, it was pretty standard that we would receive checks in the mail. Nowadays, that's a no-go. Nowadays, technology has made getting paid instant and that's what the artist expects. Standard procedure is promoter goes and wires the deposit directly to the agent. Now keep in mind the deposit is normally 50%. Once the deposit is in and the contracts are signed, the artist is yours. The next step is to take care of travel. That's right. The fees have nothing to do with the travel unless otherwise indicated. The promoter is also responsible for flights, hotels, and ground transportation. Now there are times that an all in deal can be negotiated, which means that the artist will also cover his own flights, hotels, and ground transportation. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the commission to the agent is taken out of that deposit. And then the balance of that deposit minus the commission is forwarded to the artist. If it's necessary that the artist has to fly, I suggest that you get on that right away because flight prices go up the closer you get to the event. Now I've seen some real craziness where those flights actually come out more than what the artist fears and that's because the promoter waited too damn long. Not only that, you risk not having any flights available. Now remember, artists need to fly from point A to point B with no connections unless there's no other way. Hotels are usually simple. You can usually reserve with no money down, just a credit card on file. Okay, and unless otherwise indicated, the balance of the payment is due prior to the performance. Day of show prior to performance. Now some artists like to receive their balance at the hotels. Others are cool with collecting at the venue. Either way, it's going to be prior to the performance and in cash, again, unless otherwise indicated in the contract. So there you go, folks. Those were five very simple steps to booking your first artist. So here's a question for you. Have you ever thought about booking a freestyle artist for an event? And if you have, what stopped you from moving forward? Your answer to this question will become the springboard to many discussions about this topic. And eventually, and only with your help, will we finally discover the voice, sound, and culture of freestyle music. Hey, I really appreciate you watching this video. And if it made any kind of sense to you, that thumbs up will let me know. And if you click subscribe and the little bell beside it, every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hey, my name is Latif Mikado, and until next time, keep it real, keep it peace, and remember, freestyle for life!